Hello, everyone. Travis McCurdy here checking in with all our head coaches once again during quarantine. And now we're joined by the men's and women's track and field head coach, Michael Roberts. And Coach Roberts, uh, how's life been under quarantine so far? Life has been pretty good under quarantine. Um, you know, really using this time to be creative and find ways to keep yourself busy um, and finding new ways to keep yourself active, trying to stay in the house. And um, the home is the gym now. Yep. <laughs> Is there anything around the house, like projects around your place that you've been like doing that maybe you would not have been doing at this time? You know, I, I have, there's a lot more time to invest in skills of things personal. Like I have four guitars sitting, sitting over there that I've actually had some time to get on my guitars and really, you know, get my fingers going. So <laughs> it sounds a lot better on guitars. So that's actually been pretty nice to spend some time on um, some things that you love doing. And has your, your family's okay during all this? I know you're probably in contact with them constantly. Yeah, family's good. You know, when these things happen, you know, mom doesn't play. Um, so, you know, family's good. Just make sure that we all practice our social distancing. We don't know who each other's been around, but, you know, family's good. The good thing with technology is you have FaceTime and, you know, we're sitting here on blue jeans, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we, other sports that were developed, were, affected by this more over like the long term but you really at the moment of the cancellation you guys were at nationals you had some athletes that had chances to be all americans and national champions and it just must have been an you knew it was coming but it was still must have been a very unusual situation to be in to be at nationals it was it was definitely unusual um going into the national championships with one of the top guys in the sprints and then you know having everybody pay attention to that and really being excited for him to showcase his talents and showcase you know um northwood on that on that level and just having that takeaway was definitely unusual um we were actually having breakfast as a as a team that day when we got the notification that they were stopping spectators and fans and families so we had to notify the family and that they couldn't come to the meet. And, you know, it was one thing after after another that when it actually shut down, um, you know, they, they they handled it with class. It wasn't that bad because you just knew it was coming. Something was coming because, you know, one thing happened after the next. Looking ahead to oh, yeah. right now, you guys are being in the midst of the outdoor season and trying to get better that way. How were you approaching your talking to your athletes and having them maintain some level of training throughout this? Um, well, each each coach has been individually handling that with their respective groups. Um, for me and my group, I think we've all we just for the athletes we handle individual. Um, you know, we have a lot of athletes that have you know lingering injuries, and you know when you're constantly going through the training system, you get injured. The goal is to always nurse you back into training. I think this now is a good time for the athletes to focus on the small things. Um, I, I know. A lot of athletes deal with a lot of flexibility issues and, you know, things that take away from them reaching their full potential. So we're really using this time now to, for one, recover. Um, I know a lot of them have done a good job of speaking with the trainers and getting uh, rehab and things from them. But just really use this time to focus on the small things and, and, and recovering. And it's almost like it's it's time for them to become childlike again. Go go outside and play. Go, go outside and be active. Become a kid again and do those things that make you um, <laughs> you know, happy, but also make sure that you're taking the time to um, address the small things that can, you know, play out to become big issues and down the line. Looking ahead now, yeah. Yeah. in the midst of recruiting now, how do you handle recruiting going forward in this time when you're not going to be able to go to meets and stuff? It's probably more communication and stuff like what we're doing right now. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot to do with just staying connected with the high school coaches. Um, you know, our assistant coaches have done a good job of reaching out and keeping in contact with the high school coaches. And I know in particular for our sport, um, especially in Michigan, right now is where your high school seniors will be out um, practicing and showcasing their talent. Um, so it definitely has created some challenges, but the good thing is it's it's more so keeping us all connected, talking with the, the coaches and the parents and other people who can vouch for the student athletes and just making sure that they are um, desiring to participate in collegiate athletics. The, it's the tough part but other than that it's it's just been communication communication has gone off the roof with um email and 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 video chat and you know the high school coaches have done also done a good job of reaching out to us with their unsigned seniors so well coach uh oh, glad you uh, uh, in there and uh really hope we can get back in the office and see each other soon so stay healthy and uh see you soon
Yep, see you soon. I'm tired of looking at these four walls <laughs> and the sunshine <laughs> from my window. So uh, I'm ready to get back to action.